Good morning, this is Charles with the Columbia Basin Herald, and here's our news roundup for Tuesday, August 1st. Here's a little of what's going to be in our newspaper today. The shooting in Moses Lake that left a woman seriously wounded reportedly stemmed from an argument between rival gang members inside of a marijuana retail store. Grant County prosecutors charged Jesus Torres, 21 of Royal City, and Jonathan Torres, 20, also of Royal City, in Grant County Superior Court with first-degree assault and drive-by shooting. Following a recommendation by Deputy Prosecu Prosecutor Kevin McRae, Grant County Superior Court Judge John Antos set Jesus's bail at $1 million and Jonathan's at $150,000. Jesus and a rival gang member had an altercation inside of Apex Cannabis in Moses Lake, 955 West Broadway Avenue, Friday night, which started out as an exchange of heated words, but quickly turned violent. So, it's summer, and it's supposed to be hot, but to be honest, Mother Nature is getting a little extreme. Temperatures are forecast to break 100 degrees in Grant County and stay there the entire week. Nor will it do any good to try to beat the heat by going elsewhere in the Pacific Northwest. The hot weather is just all over the place, said Joey Clevenger, a meteorologist for the National Weather Service in Spokane. In fact, it's supposed to be hotter in Portland on Wednesday than it will be in Moses Lake. And it's going to be hot in Seattle, hot in Spokane, and hot in Boise. Temperatures in Moses Lake are forecast to hit 103 degrees on to Thursday, 105 degrees on Friday, and 104 on Saturday. The current forecast calls for triple-digit temperatures into Sunday and Monday, although forecasting a week ahead becomes a little less, e less exact, Cleavinger said. And finally, the Grant Transit Authority's new multimodal transit center opened on Monday with a ribbon cutting and the announcement of a new and expanded bus service. Buses started rolling in and out Tuesday. The transit center is located at the intersection of Division and Fifth Streets in downtown Moses Lake. Bus service will be expanded to Othello with a stop in Warden. New Monday through Friday routes have been established to Wenatchee and Ellensburg as well, and some bus routes will have buses running more frequently. The new Wenatchee route will make stops in Ephrata and Quincy. The Ellensburg route, depending upon the bus, will go from Moses Lake through Quincy and George, or from Moses Lake through Warden, Othello, and Royal City. Riders will have their choice. Well, that's some of what will be appearing on our newspaper today. For details on these and other stories, including national and international news, check out our website, www.columbiabasinherald.com, or buy the paper. It's only a dollar. Stay cool, or at least try to. Thanks, and we'll see you tomorrow.